G'day, I'm Brett. In this video, I'm going to show you how I've upgraded my sound system in my Defender. Now, the sound system that came from the factory, especially if it's pre-TD5, is likely to be very basic. I've had a major improvement in the sound quality. My system dominantly has focused on the mids and high level, just to penetrate through that noise of the engine. So I now have a, a pretty decent sound while I'm touring to listen to and enjoy music. So let's take a look now at my installation. I have new five and a quarter inch front and four inch rear speakers and a Pioneer amplifier. The four channel Pioneer amplifier produces 45 watts RMS and 100 watts peak per channel and is highly compact. The amplifier is plug and play requiring additional harnesses for the installation such as my Sony to ISO harness and the harness for the speakers. A fuse and power cable are required capable of carrying 15 amps. I start the installation by removing my stereo from my Raptor dash so I can access the wiring. Then the new harness for the speakers is connected. Heat shrink is used to insulate the wires. And finally, plug all the connections into the amplifier wiring. The Sony head unit has a CD, radio, USB and auxiliary input. Perfect for connecting an iPod. For the front, the car originally came with 4 inch speakers. I've upgraded those to 5 and a quarter inch. Some of the material has to be cut away in order to fit these. I just used a little Dremel drill with a cutting disc and just cut around just to make enough room to fit them in properly. There's plenty of room on the driver's side to fit a fairly deep speaker, which is good. When upgrading the passenger side speaker, it's likely you'll have an issue as all aftermarket speakers are a lot deeper than the originals. And the windscreen wiper motor is directly behind here. So you will need to add some spaces in order to fit. I've got two spaces and that hasn't presented any issue with people getting in and out of the vehicle and hitting their knees. So that's just one extra little purchase you'll need to make. The original rear panel was replaced with an aluminium replica which I made using a jigsaw and the original as a template and to this I fitted the 4 inch speakers. I've installed the amplifier directly below the head unit along the dash. It's very compact and easily fits. Now this has settings for a front low or high pass filter which I have set to off, two or four channel audio set to four and a rear high or low pass filter set to high. As I've said, the sound quality is so much better than what it ever has been. A lot of this comes from the rear speakers, as I have a high pass filter set on the amplifier, so I'm sending those high and mid frequencies through at ear level to my ears, which really helps beat that drone of the engine. So I'm getting most of that clarity from the vocals coming through, and I don't have to crank the stereo all the way up now to hear the words. I can have it comfortably set at 18, instead of 30 like I used to. Don't expect major differences but at the end of the day this is a Defender, it is still a loud vehicle despite all my soundproofing but I can really enjoy listening to music now while I'm touring and even at highway cruising speeds 100 k's an hour I'm still listening to beautiful audio compared to the old days of just cranking loud and hoping for the best. So it's not a very expensive system I sort of bought everything as cheaply as I could because I don't want something really expensive in a Defender which can easily be broken into and have my headset stolen. But I also didn't want any water ingress getting in during deep water crossings as I have had the car you know, through water level going over the bonnet. So if I do get stuck someday, I don't want to lose lots of expensive gear. But overall, very happy with this installation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. 
Visit my website, roamingtheoutback.com, for Australian travel destinations, vehicle preparation ideas, and gear reviews. If you'd like to help support the creation of new videos, please consider becoming a Patreon. Click on the Patreon button on the screen now. Thanks.